Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yes, today's daily challenge location. Really, really cool spot because we've revisited these uh, sweet pools of water uh, that we can see right now. And uh, last time we were in Sardinia. Uh, which is right over here. I think we're somewhere like around over uh, here in this section. I don't believe that this is it. I don't believe this could be Mediterranean again. So I should, probably should go Mediterranean, but I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go sort of uh, different. Oh, should I? Oh, I don't know. Should I go different? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go different. We'll go. We'll, we won't go with Sardinia. We won't go with these islands over here. We'll go with Greece. We'll go with uh, you know like uh, let's say these islands over here. Sure, this still looks good to me, like uh, right around, I don't know, here. I know, that's that's not rocky enough. Right here. Yeah, there you go. That looks like the beach for me. Let's say that's where we are. And the actual answer was, no, this is somewhere completely different. But is this where we were before? Is this all oh, back here again? <laughs> wow. It's the one place that uh, I mentioned the time before. Oh, back there again. My God, back to Rota. The island, uh, which is part of the Northern Mariana Islands. We're back here again. Wow, it looks fairly different than the last time we saw it. It looks a lot closer to the time than we were in Sardinia than the time we were uh, in Rota before. Wow. Well, there's a lot of beautiful places in uh, on this island over here, which is between Guam and this section of the Northern Mariana Islands, but it's part of the Northern Mariana Islands, as I found out last time we were there. But hey, you know what? That's how the daily challenge goes. Sometimes we can be in the same places we've been before. Hopefully some of you guys made that guess. Alrighty, here we are in today's daily challenge location. And we find ourselves in the shower, getting clean. Oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't zoom down there because that might uh, reveal uh, a little bit about where this location could be. So, uh, you know, that's fine. I don't think we saw enough of that to be uh, important. But uh, yeah, look at that. We got a shower handle. If I, can I look up? I can look up, indeed. We got a nice shower head. Oh, I like these shower heads a whole lot. It's like a, it's like a big rainstorm all the way on you. C cool sort of shower roof, I guess so. We got some soap, some shampoo, some conditioner, some uh, body wash. And uh, we got this cool little bridge here that leads into a whole, like, other rooms. It looks like we got, like, a poker table or something. Maybe just a table. Um... You know, some cabinets and stuff. My god, I don't know where we are, but this place looks awesome. We got, to, like, blinds and stuff you can put down on both sides in case, I guess, you want to walk naked from the shower to uh, the rest of your area. And you don't want people on boats out peeping toms and wherever this is over here uh, taking a sneaking a peek. Maybe that's the case, maybe that's not. Anyways, this is a daily challenge. That means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. Just put it down in the comment section below and tell me. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. Not too sure, but I got a region in the world I'm going to make a guess. But regardless of what I do, I'll announce whoever out of you guys guesses closest in tomorrow's video comment section. So if you want to win the glory of knowing uh, that you are the day's top geo guesser, put down a guess. Tell me where in the world do you think this is. All right, here we are in the main section of today's video. And today it is a viewer challenge as always. Today we've got another challenge by a new viewer. Well, maybe not a new viewer, but a new person to send in uh, challenges. So that would be our good friend CPU Ram 14. I mean, there you go. Uh, you got to have some good RAM in your system. Uh, currently I have 16 gigs of GDDR3 1600 Corsair Vengeance RAM, um, that I got in November of 2012, or maybe it was like 2011. Yeah, 2011. I got it in like November of 2011. My god, some of my system is pretty old, but it is actually still really baller, which is kind of crazy. That uh, things haven't changed. I, I finished most of it in uh, March of 2012, but uh, the I, I remember I bought the RAM in around November, you know, during like Black Friday sales, things like that, um, where it was uh, dramatically cheaper. 16 gigs of GDDR, GDDR3 1600, not GDDR3. Why I no no G no G. It's not a video card. Um, 
DDR3 1600 RAM cost $73 in 2011. That's crazy because the prices have skyrocketed since then. My god. Anyways, enough about RAM. Uh, let's talk about the challenge, which I got the link right here. Now, uh, CPU RAM, if you're looking at this and anyone else looking at this link, it's a big giant link. It may seem confusing and overwhelming, but that's the link that I want. Don't use any link shorteners. If you're going to be uh, posting comments with link, which, like shortened URLs, uh, I'm going to delete them. Um, even if it, it contains one of these now, uh, CPU RAM, I saw your comment and immediately deleted it thinking it was some kind of spam. Then curiosity killed the cat and I decided to use a link lengthener and found out that it was actually an awesome challenge and I could have missed it. I could have accidentally deleted it because, uh, he chose to use a link shortener. So if any of you guys out there, uh, are thinking of sending me a challenge, don't use a link shortener. Send me this big giant ass link. I, I don't want to see any bitly links or, uh, any other type of things like that as I all think they're spam and uh, you run a very high chance of me accidentally ignoring them because I might not go through the trouble of using a link a lengthener to check out what's at the other end but regardless thank you so much CPU RAM 14 for this one you got through regardless I still have the challenge no theme or anything like that but I'm super excited to do it of course if you guys want to send me a challenge you can uh, go to geosetter.com g-e-o-s-e-t-t-r.com find a link to that down in the description below uh, and you can create your own custom challenge send it to me using the YouTube inbox system or you can place it as a comment in one of the videos but that sometimes doesn't work and then I'm gonna play it just like I am now you can add a theme if you want to. No theme on this one. So let's just uh, do it. And if you want to find a link to this challenge, click down in the description below. A synchronized challenge. Okay, now this this is interesting. Uh, because I, I don't really know what this means. Does this mean that... I don't know. Okay, this is interesting. Because this isn't the dialogue that normally appears. But, alright, that's fine. I, I don't know. We're, we might see something special happen here. Uh, I'm not too sure what uh, what the deal with uh, this particular challenge is because that, that dialogue box isn't the same dialogue box that we usually see. But okay, I'm going to ignore that and we're going to just roll with the punches here. What have we got here? Incinerator. That's uh, like um, essentially a garbage disposal unit. I've never seen anyone with it. Um, do you know, looking at that, I, I don't know. Uh, Plaza Real. Alright, I... Dot .ru plaza real dot .ru okay that helps a lot so i think we're in russia oh we can you know probably could have told figure that out by here but that's good do i see anything else no i i don't so we're in russia right now and what else do we see well we see they accept a visa mastercard uh maestro which is something you absolutely never see here in north america uh, well, I should say, at least in Canada, uh, Maestro is something that is not uh, really known by anyone or used by anyone. Uh, we find ourselves now in the rest of where we were before. Now, we're definitely in Russia, but I kind of want to go back in there because that was really cool. And I think it would be a missed opportunity not to explore um, this store here. Now, where do I think we are? Where, where do I think this store is going to be? We're back in, so let's go look over here. We've got incinerators and stuff like that. This is like a like a, like a kitchen design store. My God, you can get like an espresso machine built into your wall like this. That's pretty cool. Small oven, small oven though. I will say, um, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, I mean, maybe this is an induction cooktop, and that's kind of cool. The thing about it is that with these with these like glass cooktops though, especially like the ones with touch buttons. They're awful. Don't you don't get touch button glass cooktop things. If you're gonna get a glass cooktop type thing, if it's induction, it's kind of cool. Um, but I make sure there are a real physical buttons because believe me, these are a pain in the fucking ass um, when they don't. I mean, a gas range of course is very cool. If you're not comfortable with those, um, I guess the next best thing is getting uh, one of them. One of them glass one induction is a cool technology, and I'm excited to use it. Never used it before. Oh, getting one of these in your kitchen? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool, too. Oh, man, I'd, I'd be interested in having one of those in my kitchen. That'd be pretty sweet. So this building right here, I feel like I should know where this is. But the truth of the matter is I don't really know where it is. I'm going to guess we're in a big city. Um, I don't really know which big city we're going to be in. It's very hard to guess. 
uh, just like this. I think we pretty much figured it out. Figured it all out. Does this say anything? Uh, it might say something, but um, I, I can't really, f you know, see anything clear uh, about where that could be. Um, the, just looking, I, I'm just looking very, very quickly over Russia to see if there's just something that I can immediately, quickly spot, but but there really, really isn't. Can't make out um, any any of this. If that indicates a city or anything like that. This, I don't know if it's a landmark in a particular city. Uh, if it is a landmark in a city, it's either Moscow or St. Petersburg. In my mind, let's just say we're in Moscow right now. Let's make the guess and the answer is St. Petersburg. You see, I at least mentioned it. So, consolation prize. I mentioned it. We were in St. Petersburg. Oh, well, that's too bad. There we were, Plaza Real. We found it. If you want to buy your kitchen stuff from there, you can. Oh, more kitchen. Oh, there's a theme to this challenge, it seems. I don't remember seeing a theme, but uh, there you go. So what do we have here? Baker's Pride. It's like a pizza oven. This is like a pizza place. All right. It's like a pizza lounge. Specials. Cherry Bomb Flaming Dr. Pepper. Wow. I'd be down to try that. What would, what would a Cherry Bomb be? Flaming Dr. Pepper. That sounds... Well, if that is Dr. Pepper, so that would be like uh, Dr. Pepper, well, it, it's Cherry Bomb, so would that be like, if, if, if I mean, okay, I'm not sure this is actually what that says, but can you imagine like a drop shot of like some sort of cherry liqueur that you drop shot into Dr. Pepper, but then how is it flaming? It's like it's like cherry liqueur and with like Bacardi 151 floating on top of it that's on fire, and then that's jeez Louise. This is a complicated thing. Hell, I drink it. That sounds awesome. I I'd be totally down for that. It sounds delicious if you ask me. So where are we? Um, get people you know spread out on the couch having a good time. What are we watching on TV? It's like a it's like a hurricane. It's like a like a hurricane right here. NFL. Okay, it's football. That's good. Anyone recognize any teams? All right, well, we're watching football, so we're probably in America, if I had to guess. Um, we got uh, some good uh, Texas Proud Spirit Whiskey Silver Star Local Whiskey Standard Honey. That sounds delicious. Honey whiskey is really good. Even you know. The Jack Daniels honey is pretty good as well. Uh, salted caramel sundae. My God, this place looks fantastic. What is this? What is this magical place? Um, Deep Elm St. Arnold Shiner Liquor. Silver Star Whiskey. So this sounds like the... Okay, I was going to say. This sounds like the kind of place that we can find in Austin, Texas. Now, we could be in this other Lenisville, Texas... But I was going to say, this sounds like the kind of place we find in Austin, Texas. Um, what's uh, what's the, like, the theme of Austin? Is it like, keep it weird? Is that is that a thing? My god, these people, they've had too many of these cherry bombs. There you go, they're just, just, just drinking too many of these cherry bombs, passing out right over here. Maximum occupancy, 49. What's wrong? Couldn't it be 20 more? Uh, sir, we're going to go with Austin, Texas. Let's say, I've been to Austin, Texas. It's a very nice city. Uh, you know, right there. Actually, do I remember anything about the way Austin is laid out? Not really, but I think the downtown area is kind of right here. Uh, so we're going to put it right there. We were actually right off Dallas. Gosh darn it. Well, you know what? Dallas also, you know, keeping it weird. Uh, it's got some pretty cool bars, apparently. Love to go. So, yeah, this is like indoor food places. I don't know. Maybe um, when uh, the link was uh, – when you sent that, that link, I deleted the comment really quickly – uh, and only went back, so maybe I missed that there was actually a theme to this, because it really looks like there is a theme. Um, okay, so we're getting liquor. Quick, I mean, this is this is all about liquor. You know, that's fine. Um, there you go, liquor. What do we got? What do we got here? We've got uh, we've got a bunch of Jack Daniels up here. We've got like whiskey. Um, you know, they don't have that honey Jack Daniels I, I talked about. So you know, there you go. There's one one point taken away. 
Uh, there's more like whiskeys and perhaps scotches as well, uh, which is fine. There's uh, some is, is, is this tequila. Could be, could be. He's got some vodka. Absolute, more like garbagey vodkas. Like this, probably not that great. Sky is really bad. Uh, this is good vodka, if I remember correctly. This is probably trash tier uh, over here. I don't know what's behind this. Um, a bunch of cream stuff. If you're into that, that's cool. You know, honestly, if you're going to make a milkshake, uh, like an alcoholic milkshake, honestly, a Bailey's milkshake is pretty damn solid. Uh, sadly, what's down here? I don't know what that is. Is that like some like uh, weird flavored stuff? Uh, could be. Uh, this is a giant thing of Mrs. Butterworth. Uh, it's not. Uh, Jägermeister, we got that. Honestly, uh, I kind of like the taste of black licorice, which uh, I know Jägermeister is not technically. Uh, well, it's it's some other plant, isn't it? It's not anise. Is it anise flavored, or is it, uh, or is it actually some sort of is there is there actually licorice flavor? I forget which one, but essentially, I actually do like that flavor. So I'm a fan um, of it. Uh, and then we've got like Quantro and Triple Sec over here. Which, uh, let me tell you, when I was 18 or 19, um, I decided it was a great idea uh, to uh, have a, a night of uh, partying that involved uh, drinking uh, just Cointreau straight out of the bottle. Worst fucking idea I've ever had. Let, let me tell you, uh, my friends uh, won't let me live that one down. So there you go, selection of yellow tail because that's just what needs to happen. So where are we um, in the world here? Magnum gold. Well, uh, the price is in dollars. I don't know if these Magnum ice cream bars got uh, brought to um, America as well. They're definitely in Canada, but just based on like the variety of ice cream we're seeing here, like faces and stuff like that, I'm gonna just guess that we're in America. Like this kind of stuff over here. I don't know, these brands I don't really recognize right off the bat. Magnum we definitely have here, but I'm guessing we're in America. I don't know if that's already been confirmed, uh, but we most likely are. Uh, quick Liquor as well, you know, in Canada, most places it's... Uh, well, actually, no, it really depends where you are. Uh, but Okay, MLC, what would that be? Maybe we're in one of the M states. I'm going to guess we're in one of the M states. Uh, which M state are we going to be in? I was going to say in Canada, a lot of the liquor places uh, are government operated. But here you go. Was one of these Smith's potato chips? That's weird. Smith's? Never heard of those. Smith's? Well, you know, we've got some we've got some really strange things going on here. Um, I'm going to go... Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, we're in America. we got American cigarettes for sure. I didn't think we were in Canada. I don't know why I, I was pausing for so long. I know we're in America. Uh, just the Smiths confuse me, but of course we're in America. Um, so one of the M states is where I'm going to say. So I'm going to say, uh, should we go with Missouri? Yeah, let's go with Missouri. I don't think we're in Minnesota. I don't think we're in Montana. I don't think we're in, I don't know, I'm going to say we're more north than Mississippi. So yeah, I think Missouri is actually a good guess. Let's go for um, Kansas or St. Louis. Let's go near St. Louis and let's go, sure, right over here, make the guess. And the answer was absolutely fucking wrong. Melbourne explains the chips. Really? In, um, really? What did I miss? I mean, the chips were probably a giveaway, right? The chips, chips were a big giveaway. But what did I, what did I miss? The cigarettes were, well, I mean, were really uh, American brands of cigarettes. This is interesting thing about Canada is if you, well, first of all, I think there's laws now in Canada where cigarettes can't just be openly displayed like that. Uh, but if they were, you wouldn't see Marlboro. Uh, or in like Benson and Hedges, you wouldn't see any of that in like regular stores. You would see like whatever the hell the Canadian brands are these days. I don't know. P players? I, I don't know. I don't smoke cigarettes at all. So um, I have no idea. But I do know that you don't see those American brands of cigarettes very often here in Canada. So I'm surprised to see them in Australia. Of course, clearly, I whiffed on that one. God. Tell me, tell me in the comment section, what, what, what did I miss other than the chips? What was the clear giveaway that it wasn't America? Because there must have been something else other than the chips, something obvious. 
M. Melbourne. All right. Well, there you go. Gross uh, dentistas. Okay. So we're in like a dentist office. A uh, dentist office in a really beautiful place. Okay. So dentist office. Let's kind of try and find a little bit more about where this dentist office is. Now, I think uh, dentistas is probably Spanish for dentist office uh so we're probably in a spanish-speaking country i'd be surprised if we weren't but it's possible it's a very nice dentist office much nicer than the last one we went in the last one we went in geez louise was that place a little bit um that place uh, not necessarily the dentist you'd want this one the thing i feel about this dentist office is a little bit too clinical it doesn't feel you know, this this weird clinical blue and this weird, you know, it doesn't feel, it feels too much like you're at the doctor. I think it's going to scare people too much. You know, the dentist doesn't need to be a scary experience at all. If you're the kind of person who's scared of the dentist, you don't need to be. Dentists are not scary. But if you're going into a dentist like this, like, I'd feel like, oh, shit, man, I'm going into real surgery here. I'm going to be, I'm going to be cut up by the end of this. And I don't want that. So, yeah, I can... Oh, my God, it's like an MRI machine. My God, dude, what the hell? They're doing, like, brain scans. What the hell kind of dentist office is this? Zona. Yeah, you, radiation. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's just... This is just crazy. My God, x-rays. That thing looked like some kind of, like, MRI machine. Um, so, let's go out here. Let's see, what is this? So waiting room or like, oh look at that! Look at this little tiny waiting room here. You're in here. You are. You're feeling claustrophobic. Oh my God! This isn't a good waiting room at all. You're in here, cramped quarters right off the butt. Big machines over here. Oh sure, you get this. Is this a router or something? What's it even hooked up to? You got this big danger, like electrical fucking lightning sign right here. Oh boy, you're not feeling good. This thing's kind of falling off the wall. It's a nice dentist office, but seriously, they could make it feel a little bit more. I mean, not like homey, but like, you know, if, I, if I'm coming here, I might be panicking. This, ah, they, you got a nice view here, though. You know, this, at least you got a big, nice view of the city. This is in Spain. This is a beautiful dentist office right in beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful Barcelona. No, we're going to say Valencia. No, we're not going to say Valencia. We're going to say, um, we're going to say Seville. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful Seville dentist office right there. Let's make the guess. The answer is Malaga. Close enough, really. Uh, when it comes down to it, you know, I, I got the right region of Spain. Malaga, very, um, very nice place. I haven't been, but I hear it's nice. 2902. Okay, let's see this next location. Everyday value, freshness, $6.90 or 690 of some sort of currency. So he's not five dollar foot longs. It's also six ninety of whatever the currency is uh, for a six inch. So keep that in mind. Now hiring. Full part time inquire within our call. Okay, six ninety and there's like an R number. What do we got at this subway? So you can't quite make it out, but there's like this is the currency right here, and I can't quite uh, really figure out what that is. Sincere fashion wholesale. The fashion is sincere. I believe that. Urban tranquil space. Are we in... Mil okay, I think we are in Malaysia, I guess. Okay. Very, very cool. Is this a return to Kuala Lumpur? Well, you know, we, if you, you got Subway, you know, you're convincing me. I do like Subway sandwiches, so, you know, maybe uh, maybe I should reconsider what I said last time about, uh, you know, Kuala Lumpur not being number one on my list of places to live. Um, you know, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should, um, maybe I should think Kuala Lumpur be pretty, uh, pretty sweet place. So, there you go. They got Subway and, you know, an assortment of phone cases, which you can find that anywhere, really. Um, I gotta get out of here. I want to see. I want to see if we can find uh, the uh, the famous towers of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, well, those aren't it on that sign there. So let's try and leave. The real question is, can we? I believe we are in Malaysia. I just ooh, mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. 
Ladies choice mayonnaise. I mean you just just spread some mayo right on those onions and eat them like chips, eh? That sounds awful. Electronics and Electronics Association of Malaysia. That's good. Ah, yes, I do indeed think we are in Kuala Lumpur. This, I believe, is a Kuala Lumpur landmark. Not as much, of course, as our friendly towers, but I uh, can't find them, and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to just go out on the street, and I can't double-click or anything like that. So I'm going to say we are in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, well, there you go. Kuala Lumpur, sounds great. Let's just make the guess, and the answer was indeed Kuala Lumpur. 63.81. Give us a grand total, 14,347. Got one that really messed me up there, and I'm, I'm happy. I can't believe I couldn't. I thought that was America. You know, I, I hesitated for so long thinking, it's not America. What am I missing here? What am I not getting? Even at the end, I, I kept hesitating back and forth. Is it America? Is it not? But Australia never came to mind. Sad that it didn't because maybe it was so clear we were there. Even when I noticed the chips... It's got to be something else that I missed, and I really hope you guys can tell me what it is. Moscow's not St. Petersburg. Well, you know what? I mentioned St. Petersburg, and that was hard to guess. Um, if I if that building is a landmark, I was guessing between two cities, really. Um, St. Petersburg, I believe, is the more beautiful of the two. St. Petersburg, is, from what I've seen, is a very, very beautiful city, so... Um, Maybe, uh, maybe I should have guessed that, but I went with Moscow instead, and it was wrong. Uh, then we were in, um, well, I thought it was Austin. I mean, that bar was awesome. Austin's known for its awesomeness, but it was in Dallas, which is also awesome. So there you go. Uh, we were then not in Missouri, but we actually found ourselves in Melbourne. I actually did catch on to the M thing, but, uh, you know, the M didn't lead me to the right place. You know... If I would have figured it was Australia, I totally would have got Melbourne on the nose, which is just sad that I didn't get it. Then we were in Spain, I guess Seville. We were in Malaga. You know, what what can I what can I say? I guess what I know is a beautiful city in Spain. I think Seville is a beautiful city. I hope it is. Um, but uh, there you go. And finally, we were in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. We went there uh, the other day, and I thought it was awesome. And now I was proven. It's got Subway, so maybe it's even more awesome. Although, you know, I believe it had Subway before. Uh, 14347. Thank you so much, CPU RAM 14, for this challenge. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.